Now with polar coordinates, we can represent our points in multiple ways. How we can do that is imagine that I have some point two and pi thirds. The angle is swept over pi thirds, I'm two units out. That's my polar coordinate position. Well, you know that if I went and swept this angle out another two pi, I would land right back at that same position. So I can also look at a polar, polar coordinate position as r comma theta as r comma theta plus two pi, or any multiple of two pi is past that. Another way that I can do that, another way I can represent this point is imagine that I went just half of a pi around and I came out this direction. So I added half of a pi. And instead of going in the two positive direction, I go in the negative direction and I wind right back up at that original point. So r comma theta could also look like negative r plus theta and a pi, not a two pi, but just 180 degrees. But since my radius is in the opposite direction, I wind back up at that same point. So there's multiple ways that we can represent our polar coordinates. So let's look at another way we can represent two comma pi thirds, where r is positive, but my theta is between two pi and four pi. How would we represent that? Well, my initial position is pi thirds. I want it to go around at least one more complete revolution, and that's gonna be a theta in between two pi and four pi. So let's take pi thirds, add two pi to it. Is that a six pi over a three? And that equals seven thirds pi. That theta is between two pi and four pi. So I would have another point that's a multiple representation or another representation of that exact same point, which would be the point two and seven thirds pi. Another example that we can look at is r is negative, but theta is between zero and two pi. So how can the same point be represented with these restrictions? Well, if it's between zero and two pi, that means it has to be within one complete revolution. So in this particular case, I'm gonna add pi to it. So two pi, or sorry, four pi thirds, pi thirds, add a one pi to that plus pi, that's gonna equal pi thirds plus three thirds pi equals four thirds pi. So that direction brings it out 180 degrees from my original direction or another pi past that, but I'll need to move it in the opposite direction. So R will need to be negative in that case. So my new point is gonna be negative two in the direction of four thirds pi. And that will line up again on this original position. And then one more example to kind of get a sense of all the things that we can do. Uh, let's have r being positive, but our theta being negative, and specifically between two pi and zero. So if here's my original point. In order for it to be negative, I need to rotate it around clockwise. So, so let's subtract two pi from this position, because we know this point shows up exactly there every two pi rotations. So if I have pi thirds, which is my original point, and I'll subtract two pi from that, I'll wind back up at that position, but with a negative angle between negative two pi and zero. So there's my new angle. My R is positive, so my new position is two and negative five thirds pi. And there's a polar coordinate. As again, it's just a multiple representation or another representation of this exact same point.